Hey guys, Rudrick here. Just wanted to throw together a little update video. Um, the channel has been pretty lackluster in the last several months. Um, I know I was able to throw together a good bit of Mario Kart. You know, a lot of that stuff was pre-recorded. Like, all the stuff you guys have seen has been stuff that's been recorded for a while. Um, as of this update, like the day I'm recording this, you guys will get a Fire Emblem episode, or a Sacred Stones episode, uh, around four, in a couple hours actually. Um, I just wanted to throw this together to explain kind of why, um, things have been very, um, uh, what's the best way to put this, um, inactive, um, around December, well, really, if we back up to about October, November, um, my longtime female friend that I dated, broke up with, kept around really close, almost dated a couple times, all that stuff, we started having issues um she started seeing someone i got serious and in all honesty i still kind of wanted her back you know i just the reason we broke up was her mother and best friend hated me and they didn't like the way i was they didn't like my long hair they didn't like my choice of profession they didn't like a lot of things about me in all honesty and they didn't think i was fit for her, so they just continually and continually caused problems so it finally just drove us apart, and for the last three years, I'd been trying to fix that, you know, and try to make it, you know, myself a better person and get ahead in life. That way, I could date her and we wouldn't have a problem, but obviously, that's, we started having problems with her seeing this new guy. I got very depressed, you know, because I'm unhappy with my job, I'm unhappy with my place in life, and things of that nature, and, uh, well, in December, we, I told her I couldn't just be friends with her anymore, and, you know, I had a really long, you know, I really wanted to be with her, and I was a fool to do all this, I was like, but it's gonna cause problems in the relationship, well, in February, we got in contact again, to the ice storm, and all that mess that we had down here in Tennessee, and I was worried, I was still depressed, I was really just, I, in all honesty, I've been in depression for the last four months, I really have been, you know, ever since that day, the two of us were just, you know, really having problems, and I told her I couldn't be friends with her anymore, you know, I really wanted to be more, and I realized that I couldn't, you know, it just, it's been hurting me, you know, and in February, things really didn't get any better, you know, when we tried to talk, and it just got awkward, and not really going anywhere, and, you know, we went two months again without talking, because I made her physically sick, with saying all the stuff I said when I was depressed, and it just, it hurt me knowing that, well, in the last week, she and I talked again, and she's forgiven me, I've forgiven her, we've made amends, and, you know, she doesn't want to be, she doesn't want me to be completely cut out of her life, but, you know, she's still with him, you know, and things are going great for them, and that's great, you know, I, I really am happy with, I am happy for her, you know, it just, that kind of puts the nail in the coffin of things, you know, that I have to get over, I have to find someone else, you know, eventually, someday someone is going to take her spot, but I'm just going to be honest with you guys, six years being that close to someone, and them being, you know, the person you talk to every day, all day, you know, can share anything with, can trust with everything, be a 100% open and honest, that is just so hard to find. And I've basically been trying to figure out how to live without that in the last several months. I mean, I have some great friends, I really do. It's just none of them, only one that I know of, you know, my best friend in the entire world, my brother, you know, only he and I are on that same page for the most part, you know, I don't have that with anyone else really, you know, and it just, it's going to be really hard for me to move on from that, and I, I want to, but at the same time, I don't, you know, it's just going to be hard, you know, and this depression is really hard, you know, and I, I think, honestly, it was an accident waiting to happen, I really do, um, I'm not happy with my job, I hate it, you know, that's just the truth. You know, I don't want to work retail anymore. I'm tired of slaving and slaving away and not being able to pay for crap. You know, I still live in my dad's house. I still drive the same car I was given years and years ago. 
You know, I want to get ahead in life. You know, here I have a college degree, and I just, I don't have anything to show for it. You know, and it's just, you know, all of that put together, and me being so people-dependent, like, it's really been evident with her not being around. I mean, holy crap, I've got some problems. You know, and I refuse to take medication, so I'm just going to have to fight through this. I mean, I am going to go get counseling. You know, I've already set up an appointment, you know, and it's something I really don't want to do. But in my heart, I know I have to do it. You know, this is something that I have to do to get better. And, you know, because I'm not just going to sit here and let it fester. You know, I can't do that. I can't just sit around and wait for her anymore. You know, if she's still going to be with this guy, I, I can't wait for that to end because it might never end. So I'm sorry, you know, to the ones who have really been loyal and really still watching. Thank you to the new people that have subscribed. I've noticed, like, I think three people have subscribed since I stopped uploading. Um, thank you guys, and thank you for still watching the videos. I mean, it does mean a lot that you guys do. It's just, you know, work's been crazy the last couple of weeks, you know, and combined with this, so I haven't had the time to really record anything. Like, this is the first thing I've actually recorded since the Sacred Stone stuff you're seeing, you're seeing this week. Um, I do have some Shovel Knight ready, too. You'll see that this coming weekend. Um, I don't have any more Left 4 Dead 2. Um, we did have a recording, but it didn't work, and the, both the video footage we captured just ended up not working out. Um, we are going to try and do that again soon. It's just really hard to line up all four schedules, but um, hopefully, you know, now that I'm not working so much and I'm getting help for these issues, finally, I should have done this a long time ago. Um, hopefully, I can start working again, you know. Keep in mind that this is really still a hobby at this point. I mean, I would love to be one of the big name YouTubers and make a lot of money with this, but I I can't do it. You know, I don't have the views. I don't have the sub base. And you know what? I'm thankful for the guys that I have. I'm, I love all you guys and girls. I think there's a couple of girls subscribed to me. I know of at least three um, out there that support me and talk to me, you know, but for now, this is something that, you know, when life gets tough, it gets put to the back burner you know and I hate it because I actually like doing this stuff but anyway um I'll get help this week if I have time to record and the motivation to do so I will um sacred stones is kind of the hard one it takes me a while to it takes about an hour to record even just a chapter um and I am I do I will be breaking those up just because they take so long um Shovel Knight's easy. I, I should have made Shovel Knight the main LP. I really should have, but, you know, we live and we learn. And I do have plans for what to do once I finish. Uh, just to let you guys know, once one of the two series is finished, I will pretty much put all my effort into finishing the one that's left. And then after that, I will start, you know, the two, the main, new main and the new side up. Let's play it once. Um, just a quick shout out to a few people. Uh, Metal Blade 427 uh, I've enjoyed watching some of your content. Um, hopefully, you and I can get together for some YouTube stuff here soon. Uh, Nerdio, dude, you are awesome, and I am looking forward to eventually doing some stuff with you too. Uh, Trailier, uh, Farises, Josh from Games and Critics, Rosenwald, Bryceoff, you know, all of you guys that have been talking to me the last couple months that, you know, I only know from doing this stuff. I mean, except Josh and Rosenwald. I know those guys in real life. But, you know, and everyone that watches my stuff that knows me personally and that has supported me, thank you so much. But anyway, I've done enough rambling for now. Um, you guys will hopefully see something within the next couple of weeks. So until then, Rudrick out.